Hi, I'm Brian Mahoney, and welcome to Mahoney Movie Reviews. I'm a fan of movies. The excitement of going to the movies has never worn off since watching double features in the 69th Street Eric Terminal over 45 years ago. The main purpose of this channel is to answer the age-old question, should I go see that movie? Is this movie worth your time? And more importantly, is the movie worth your money? The rating system used will be seriously consider asking the manager for your money back. Catch it on cable, matinee price, full price, full price with popcorn and soda, and the ultimate, buy it on Blu-ray, and impress your friends with your incredible taste in film. Hi, I'm Brian Mahoney, and this is my review of Den of Thieves. Uh, the movie stars Gerard Butler, 50 Cents, Pablo Schreiber, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and Christian uh, Gudapest. A uh, quick summary of the film. Uh, this is an action film uh, that pits a group of slightly corrupt police officers uh, against a highly sophisticated group of ex-military bank robbers, highly trained ex-military bank robbers. And I use the word corrupt, but uh, probably corrupt maybe isn't the best word because uh, they simply step outside the law with some of their tactics. But as far as uh, uh, integrity-wise, uh, I don't think these are, uh, these are not corrupt uh, uh, police officers. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the performances. This movie stars Gerard Butler, and he turned in an excellent performance um, uh, as an uh, uh, action star, uh, much in the mold of Bruce Willis. Uh, whether it's uh, one-liners, uh, bravado, over-the-top bravado, <laughs> um, I was very uh, satisfied uh, uh, with the screen presence of Gerard Butler in this film. Pablo Schreiber. You, know, you see this photograph here, this clean-cut actor, uh, so I give him credit. Uh, I think he shaved his head, um, had uh, tattoos uh, uh, on his body, uh, in great uh, physical conditioning. So uh, he definitely took the role seriously uh, and delivered a good uh, performance uh, as the head of uh, this corrupt uh, uh, group of bank robbers. 50 cents. Uh, probably my biggest disappointment. Uh, it's not that he uh, uh, did anything wrong. He simply wasn't given um, uh, a chance, I, I would guess, to display uh, his, um, his ability. Um, he did not have very much dialogue. Um, and I would think someone who actually experienced uh, uh, gunfights in real life uh, and certainly street fights would have maybe been given uh, a pretty decent um, uh, fight sequence where we would get to see why he was uh, uh, selected to be uh, uh, in this uh, uh, gang and, and uh, to hold what appears to be uh, uh, the second position uh, in this gang. O'Shea Jackson Jr. O'Shea Jackson Jr. Uh, portrays uh, in, a, in a way a character that uh, seems to be just a little bit soft. Uh, uh, he's treated that way by the uh, other gang members and he's also uh, particularly targeted by the police as the weak link uh, in the group. Um, uh, it was a bit of a surprise. I, I didn't expect him to play that type of role but uh, as the movie progresses uh, we understand why uh, his character is the way he is. The direction. Uh, the, the direction by Christian Gudegas, uh, if I'm pronouncing his name uh, correctly, uh, or spelling it correctly, for that matter, um, was good. Uh, it, it had a nice pace to it. There weren't these big lulls, even when they... Uh, try, try to uh, maybe give us uh, some explanation of why uh, Gerard Butler's character is as aggressive as he is, uh, uh, giving us a peek inside of his um, uh, not so uh, happy marriage. Um, uh, 
we, we just didn't, we didn't dwell there too long. And he got us back to the action and um, the higher uh, testosterone uh, scenes, even using a scene with the, an ex-boyfriend to demonstrate this uh, uh, Gerard Butler's ability to intimidate uh, uh, other men. The story itself, this is a alpha male buffet. Uh, if you enjoy uh, one-liners, uh, lots of action, uh, over-the-top bravado, uh, intimidation, uh, uh, car chases and action, this is the film for you. Um, the Gerard Butler, whether he's uh, intimidating a FBI director or his uh, soon-to-be ex-wife's uh, new uh, a boyfriend, uh, he does a good job uh, in doing this, and um, uh, without uh, you know much uh, action, but uh, just his presence. Um, uh, lots of semi-automatic guns are used. Um, uh, there's plenty of action, car chases, shooting, uh, uh, chasing. Um, the film has a nice uh, a twist. Uh, at the end, um, and uh, certainly a message that intelligence can, uh, in the end, defeat brute force. The visuals, um, nothing special, <laughs> whether it's the interior shots of the homes or even the place they choose for the final gun battles, uh, the car chases, the convenience store robbery, uh, there's just nothing special about the visuals in this film. Is this movie worth your time or money? Uh, the verdict. Full price. Uh, if you are a fan of action, uh, if you like macho one-liners and uh, uh, intimidation, uh, 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 then this is the film uh, for you. The movie has a nice, quick pace to it. Uh, and again, if, if this is your... Uh, if you're an action film fan, then uh, you won't be disappointed paying full price for Den of Thieves. I'm Brian Mahoney. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section, and enjoy your next trip to the movies.